Hello everyone, this is Daisy, AKA the Professional High Priestess, and I'm here to do the Divine Masculine Energy Check-In. Let's just see what's going on. Me personally, I feel like what's happening right now in the collective is a lot of, the Divine Masculines have been separated into two groups. The we has been officially separated from the chaff, moving into 2020. And what I mean by that is, the Masculines that have been doing their work, that know they're a Divine Masculine, etc., they're not even on YouTube watching these videos because they're doing what they need to do, right? In order to be in union with their feminine, etc. Other masculines that may be on here is because their feminine is dealing with a karmic partner, etc., right? When I say the masculines have been separated into two categories, the masculines who've been doing their work, etc., that I just talked about earlier, they're not on here watching. They're reaping the rewards of Saturn and, you know, they're doing their work and they're in union with their feminine. Or if they're not in union, they're, you know, just continuing to ascend. Right. Then you have the other group of masculines who have, um, I would say, officially lost their divinity. Right. Because like I said, when you engage and deal with distortions, etc., for a certain amount of time, even after you've been warned and given signs, etc., etc., you um, officially turn into a karmic. Yeah. So, you know. I had to put this uh, video out here, you know, just to go ahead and do a, like an energy check in and just see what's going on because a lot of the masculines are now going to spiritual jail and it, those who are, you know, who are lost, who have lost their, um, I, I, I will say quote unquote, their divine masculine badge because not everyone gets that divine title, right? Not everyone is divine. Let's, let's just be real. You know, we don't like hierarchies. We don't like elitism. That's not what this is about, but let's be real. Like not everyone is on the same wavelength or same frequency or same vibration, Right, some people lost that opportunity many lifetimes ago, many incarnations ago. Okay, so we have to be aware of that. Usually, divine masculines, divine feminines are individuals who have retained that divinity throughout many lifetimes and many incarnations, regardless of the different trials and tribulations and karma that they've picked up through those lifetimes. They've still been able to retain their divinity. That's what makes someone a, someone a divine masculine and divine feminine, not just because you say so, okay, or because you you know you watch some videos on YouTube and that was that. So, I had to put that out there. But some of these masculines, you know, they have not fully gotten their title taken away, but they are being put in what we call spiritual jail. And, you know, when your nigga's in jail, you put money on his books, you go visit him, that whole thing. It's the same thing that the feminines were doing. They were trying to do magic for him, uh, trying to help him heal, warning him about the karmic. Those are the same things, but it's to the point where he's going to solitary confinement. So there is no visitation, if you understand what I'm saying. But the masculine had to go down into that realm because they had to understand what their forefathers gave up and what their ancestors gave up for them to be able to have that divine title. So if that means, you know, physically getting put back into conditions where you were a slave, where you were a peasant, where you lost all your wealth, where you had to start from ground zero, that's where you need to be in order for you to understand what you will continue to lose as long as you are engaged in distortions, dealing with karmics and disrespecting your feminine, okay? So many of the masculines are gonna be in spiritual jail for that. And, you know, like I said in the feminine video, stop putting energy, time, and effort in, knowing that they're going to spiritual jail because you're just going to continue to pick up karma, okay? That's what's going to end up happening. So there's that. Now, when it comes to the karmic, and because we're going to get into that as well, the karmic got what they want, right? So um, this is what's happening. On one end, the karmic got what they want. The masculine's trapped there with them in spiritual jail. However, now the karmic, because of all the different shenanigans and magic and different things like that that have been played and because they've been exposed and now they really know that the masculine really doesn't really love them like that, that it's been out put out in the open, their relationship and their, that dynamic can never be the way that was again. Those illusions can never work again. Because remember, these karmics are a double-headed beast, triple-headed beast, quadruple-headed beast, depending on what level you're dealing with. You feminine, by standing in your power, not even engaging, you've defeated one or two of the heads on that beast. Now the masculine in spiritual jail, they have to de defeat the other heads on that beast. You understand what I'm saying? It, it really it gets down like that. So you have to let the masculine go defeat the other heads on that beast. You've done enough. You can't do any more or you will continue to lose. You see? So these masculines have to go in that spiritual jail to address their lack of growth to address their distortion, to address the false ideologies that they built their lives upon. They have to do that work alone. You can't do that with them. You can't do that, right? Some work can be done together. Some work has to be done alone, just like you did the work. That's why you were in a space to be able to help your masculine and do certain things, even though they took you for granted. That's why you took your feminine for granted because you thought, oh, well, she must be dumb since she's being so nice. No, that's a part of my divinity. I've ascended past that law of vibrational thinking and ways of being. 
I don't have to feel a certain type of way for that because I know I'm acting out of compassion. Now masculine is going to be in jail and going to be regretting every single second of that because now they realize, oh, now I'm behind closed doors. Now I'm behind a cold cell. Now I'm within a cold cell. Now I only have these four walls. The karmic is sitting right next to me, but not even here. You see what I'm saying? That's how it's going to be. So for those karmics who played games and trapped, congratulations, you got what you wanted, right? And in that, which we're probably going to see in the cards, the karmic will also learn a very powerful lesson, most likely from their childhood having to do with neglect, abandonment, because what's going to start happening is as the masculine continues to be trapped there and in that state, and once they start to, once it starts to sink in and dawn in, because remember, these masculines are, remember, the ones have, have had sex magic done on them, spells, all that type of stuff, gaslighting, manipulation, which is also a type of spell work. By the time it fully sinks in, reality hits on what's going on, it will be too late. That's when the panic will sink in, you see? That's when the realization will sink in like, oh shit. That's when the tower moment will happen. Not until then though. They have to go through that road. Because dealing with you, it was it was too sweet. They had to go, remember some of these masculines, they have to learn through harsh and bitter ways. So on the other end, some of these masculines have fully, like I said, they've embodied their divinity. They've walked away from the karmic. They, they have not gotten involved, etc. Boom. They listened. They follow directions. Now they are going to be um, on an accelerated path, you know, towards going into union, reaping the benefits of Saturn, that type of thing. Saturn is going into Aquarius in March. <sighs> Lord, Lord, Lord. For those who understand what that is, no need to, no, nothing else to be said. For those who don't understand, Saturn is a planet of karma. Aquarius, which is a sign, sign of rebellion, the sign of the collective, okay, ruled by Uranus and also Saturn is its, it's, its old ruler. Uh, Aquarius is an air sign. You don't have to have any Aquarius in your chart to be impacted because remember, Aquarius is a collective and we are also in the age of Aquarius. So all of us have picked up some type of Aquarius energy. It's we're a con All of us are a conduit. It's how you are expressing that energy. If you're expressing low vibrational uh, Aquarius energy, which is wander around and do anything and have no responsibilities and gaslight and manipulate and sociopathy, you'll be dealing with karma in the lower vibrational aspect. Saturn reversed. If you want to... If you've been the one channeling high vibrational energy and messages for the collective, you will be dealing with Saturn in the upright, Aquarius in the upright. You see reaping rewards. So that's what's going to be happening. So a lot of these masculines are currently in that state. Some of them, they've gotten out of jail. Congratulations, you're home. Some of them are going now into jail, are going to be going into solitary confinement, even being in jail now. You see what I'm saying? So there's that. But it's because the masculine failed to listen, you see? And like I, I made a post about um, that movie, The Mummy 4, and it was like the karmic, and she had all different type of uh, markings and etchings on her skin. Literally, before I even saw that movie, that image of that movie, that's exactly how I saw my karmic in the dream state when we were going at battle and at war. Because I remember, you, have, you guys have to understand, these, if you're a true twin, this shit has been going on for a lifetimes, the battles, the karmics, all of that stuff, you see? So when you are having those different battles in the 5D, 6D, 7D, 8D, 9D, 10D, however how you're going, however how you're going into the dimensions, you're going to see the karmic in different forms. I've seen the karmic in all different type of forms, whether it be like that woman with all the different tattoos and markings on her body, you know, exposing who they were back in those days, right? You guys know how, how we used to go down. These uh, women will... They, they were witches and all those different type of things and they had spells on them and they put spells on, on them through, through, through the sex to attract kings and knights and things like that in order to infiltrate the kingdom, you see? Those type of things. And because remember, the masculine was able to have concubines and all of that, it was able to happen. That's how it used to happen in the olden days. Now in the new days, it's how the karmic gets down with love spells and manipulation and oh, I'm going to kill myself and that type of thing. It's just, it's the same thing, new story. You see how it's evolved? So if you are really a twin like that, you will see images of battle and whatnot. If you're if you're a masculine that's tapped in and, and you know these masculines, even if they're still with the karmic, they're seeing these images, they're getting them and they're still playing games, know that they're going to jail. Some of them will be getting life sentences. So let's, let's do an energy check-in and see what's going on with the masculines, okay? Right? Who are going to jail or who are, who are going another round in a karmic cycle, et cetera, knowing exactly what time it is. I'm telling you right now, by the end of 2020, if there's any anybody who's saying that they're masculine, feminine, and they're dealing with karmics, absolutely not. No. Because they, 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 they're getting stripped. As Saturn comes onto this planet, as that Aquarius energy, they will be stripped. Stripped. And you are not getting it back. 
So let's see. What messages do you have for the Divine Masculine, please? Messages for the Divine Masculine. Wow. Whew. As I was saying. So I'm going to pull all the cards at once so that we're going to go through, okay? So I'm using the or Workers of Delight Oracle. Now we have the... Um, Energy Oracle Cards, okay, by Sandra Taylor. Messages for the Divine Masculine, please. Messages for the Divine Masculine. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's out here. Messages for the Divine Masculine. Some of the masculines did not end things properly with the karma because they stayed too long. You see, that's, that's why when you don't get out of a contract... After a certain time and it gets renewed, you have to go another round. So now these masculines are having to get, go back to deal with the karmic to defeat the other head, the other two to three heads, because they did, they they wouldn't do it the easy way. Now they have to do it the hard way, and you can't be involved in that. All right. So let's see what other cards should I get out here. Let's get some of the um. Hmm. I will take numerology. Yeah. Messages for the Divine Masculine. Messages for the Divine Masculine. Go, dealing with the karmic and going to jail. And then we'll see the energy between the masculine and the karmic and I'll timestamp. Messages for the Divine Masculine. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be using the Mystic Monday's Tarot. I love this deck. So the first card that we got out here is Birthing a New Age. And it says, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. What was I saying? And then you have the adjacent possibility cards out here as well with all these different doors open. So what this is telling me right here, it's saying like dreaming a new world into being. Like I said, some of these masculines have officially gotten out of jail. They've left the karmic. They've ascended. Perfect, right? Now they're moving into that next level. For those masculines, some masculines, they may have left the karmic. They may not be with the feminine, but at least they left the karmic. Okay, you're still creating a new birthing, a new way. You're still creating a new um, path for yourself. You're still going into adjacent possibilities. Now, for those other masculines who have not left the karmic um, and they are still saying, it says, align your life, okay? It says, what is not aligned or needs to change? And then you have the deceit card right here. So these masculines, what's going on with them is they're starting to realize, whoa, you know, I'm in a place where I can have new possibilities. I can move forward and have a spiritual partnership, work on my health, work on my career, work on my finances, or I can continue to sit here and waste time with this karmic who's not about shit, right? Or these karmic partners or this karmic energy or et cetera, still be wrapped up and involved in that. Life is too short for that, right? I can go and dream a new world into being, or I can continue to stay here in deception and deceit and mess and continue to deal with seven of swords energy and have to strategize how to like have peace in my life. Why is it taking me so much mental mind games and strategies to have peace in my own house, in my own world, in my own body? That's unnatural, right? Then you have awakening, energetic upgrades. And it says here, a new way of being, integration. And with this moon here, that I don't know why I'm just getting heck of Piscean energy. I feel like with this retrograde, because it is in Pisces, especially if your masculine has any Pisces in their in their chart, or if they have a lot of planets in any houses with Pisces uh, ruling them, they're going to be having like a lot. It's going to be big for them right now. A lot of stuff is going to be coming up for the past around emotional abuse and emotional neglect. It's going to be a very emotional time for them overall. All right. But that's what I'm seeing here with that moon card being here. OK, then we have the health card being here. So I feel like what's happening with these masculines is their health is being impacted by all the deception, lies and deceit, the stagnation, the lack of alignment. Because if you see on there how it's like it looks like a shattered mirror, but she's disenfragmented. Those, that's the state that these masculines are in right now. That's the state that these masculines are in right now. So I'm just going to tell you that. Then you have 41 self-discipline. So with the self-discipline card here. What I see is um, with the self-discipline card here, what I see, honestly, it's like the masculine is starting to see how overindulgence, nine of cups, reverse type of energy, hang my reverse type of energy, overindulgence, drinking, smoking, sex, etc. got them wrapped up in this 
conflict that they're dealing in. Got them wrapped up in, in being in deceptive, being deceitful to other people and being deceptive towards themselves. Because you can't be deceptive towards anyone else unless you've first been deceptive towards yourself. That's how you even get the courage to even be deceptive, knowing that you're going to get karma at the other end of it, right? You have to first delude yourself. So there's that. Then you have spiritual partnership here. So the masculine with this adjacent possibilities is really conjuring, pondering like, you know, I, I don't want to be here with the karmic. I know that much. They know that that's not even a possibility. But can I go back to my feminine? Not with all that energy. No, you need quarantine, you see? So the masculine is also pondering that with the spiritual partnership card being here. So let's clarify now with the tarot. Um, clarify birthing a new age for the masculine. Then we have the lover's card. Yeah. So with the lover's card being here, clarifying birth in the new age, really looking at, like I said, with the spiritual partnership card, really thinking about, you know what? I want my health to get back together from all this stress, all this drama. I don't want any deceit. I want to pick a new path. I, I want a strategy that's going to lead me towards that lover's type of energy, that spiritual union, that spiritual partnership, right? What do I need to do strategy, right? In order to move me towards that place. Now clarify, um, align your life. Yeah. With the three of swords ran out the three of swords flipped out you guys saw that so with the three of swords being here and the adjacent possibilities it's like you know the masculine i feel like in this situation they're heartbroken for a couple of reasons one because they realize how they sacrificed their feminine to deal with the come bucket karmic and now that's not working right grass was not green on the other side that was confirmed it was confirmed before you even dealt with the feminine or before you even dealt with the karmic the way that you did but there's that remember they had to go test that out on their own because these masculines a lot of them have to learn the hard way remember i told you too much shape shifted energy you're not grounded in reality you you it takes you having to get boom boom hit tower to come down to the ground all that stubborn earth uh, uh fixed my way the highway type of energy it takes for a tower moments and destruction and like your rain is coming in and eating up that ass in order for them to understand what's going on you see what i'm saying so there's that so with this three of swords energy, they had to go through a tower moment hard lesson. They had to realize what they did to the feminine. Then they had to realize that the chaos and the karma, karma that they're experiencing now is because of what they did to you and because of their alignment with the karma. Because remember, I told you the karmics, their bloodlines are cursed. So when you deal with people whose bloodlines are cursed and you align yourself with people who are a part of nefarious shit, like doing spells on people, that type of thing, you pick up their karma. That's how it works. So these masculines are realizing that and they're also realizing like even if they're not with the karmic, they can't go back to the feminine if that's an option for, you know, if that take whatever, you know, category that you're in. So now they're starting to see that, that they were dis distorted. They didn't have alignment. They didn't know who they were and they lost out on a spiritual partnership, right? Clarify awakening for the divine masculines. Oh, and we have the three of wands could be dealing with the Gemini divine masculine because I see the lovers here and every time I see doubles, I know I'm dealing with Geminis, right? Or, um... They could be dealing with the karmic who's a Gemini and putting them in that double consciousness. You could be a Gemini as well. So with the three of wands being here, with the awakening, this, for me, this is like all about like ships coming in, but like messages coming in, awareness coming in, if that makes some sense. They're starting to get awareness about, oh, wow. Like that's what this is about the whole time. My feminine wasn't chasing me and doing all these things and talking all the spiritual stuff to be funny or to be cute or try to seduce me. This is some real life stuff right now. And now they're going through that spiritual journey. But like I said, a lot of these masculines had to learn it the hard way because they're too much of a shapeshifter or they're too stuck in their way. So if something had to happen. The forces of nature had to come through. Well, okay. Now, clarify deceit for how the mask about for the masculines, please. Clarify deceit. Yeah, they got the eight of cups um, and the uh, three of pentacles. Clarifying deceit. So what this tells me with the eight of cups and the three of pentacles, walking away from like a, a partnership, a commitment, something that was like stable, sturdy, you know, like a home or like a job or, or, or some type of partnership, something st sturdy and stable. They're walking away from that because there's nothing but deception there. Now they're starting to realize, wow, that's what this karmic about. Even if this karmic was the one cashing on, giving them money, there's something deceptive going on for that to keep on going. They're realizing that now. They're also realizing how they were probably deceptive to staying up with that karmic playing games with her when they could have just like really, you know, been a better person and just not done that. Or they're realizing that the karmic was deceptive and just wanted things from them the whole time. A lot of the time when I get, when I listen to some of these DM readings, it's like, oh, the DM is living off this karmic. Not all the time. No. Sometimes the, the karmic is living off the DM. So when you're reading, you know, look at it from both perspectives. So let's clarify adjacent possibilities. Though we have the three of cups in the reverse. Yeah, because with the adjacent possibilities and the three of cups, this is like a third party situation here. So pondering like a one cup got to go. One cup got to go. And even if like 
like I said, the masculine now, I just said this, the masculine knows now, like, the karmic is not an option, period. So feminine, you don't even have to worry, like, oh, what about if he gets a new karmic? It's just going to be that other karmic energy in a new person. <coughs> because they haven't learned their lesson. <coughs> right? So, <clears throat> now... The masculine's in a position like, okay, I, I, I need to pick a path here because this three-party shit, it can't happen. And I just look stupid and I'm just losing out because chasing two rabbits, I won't catch either one, right? Clarify the three of cups. What's the three of cups? Yeah, with the ten of swords. Because it, it's hit rock bottom. It's done. It's the, this. It's like the end of a tumultuous, toxic situation with the ten of swords here, clarifying the three of cups. You know? The backstab, the betrayal with the uh, adjacent possibilities, that's done. It, it has to come to an end because I can't, like I said, I can't take the possibility that I want, that I know it's going to bring me to prosperity, dealing with trying to drink out of two cups and knowing one cup is poison. That's done. Because the more I try to chase two of these cups and I'm running with two cups, I'm sloshing and mixing them, They, I can't tell the difference between the two. You see what happens? Clarify strategy for the masculines, please. Clarify the strategy card for the divine masculines. Wow, and we have the Tower and the Nine of Cups. Tower, because they're having Tower moments, like I said. They have to have Tower moments in order for them to realize, like, whoa, this is what I'm a part of, right? But the strategy, I feel like the strategy card, too, was like, it's all about divine, it's divine timing. It needed to happen. You see, because even if I'm, as I'm looking in the strategy card, I see the white feather that is also indicating, you know, like, the ancestor spirit guides, and then I see like the star near the pentagram, which always reminds me of like a, a tarot wheel or like the birth wheel, meaning that this was a part of destiny for this to happen. For you to continue to have tower moments so you can see where your nine of cups is, so you can learn how to have fulfillment on your own, so you can realize, you know, where your dreams really lie and what is not a dream for you. They had to go through that because remember, remember the karmic's doing all kinds of spells and tricks and all those other things, yes, but the masculine too also, it had a part of the delusion. You see what I'm saying? So, that's where we are. Because the karmic wouldn't keep doing spells unless, I mean, not, yeah, I'm not going to go there. Because, yeah, they're probably going to keep doing spells regardless. All right? So, let's clarify these numerology cards now. All right. Dear Bright and Well Living Ancestors, clarify health for the Divine Masculines. I feel like a lot of these masculines, too, because they were engaged in so much indulging and games and all that other stuff and the back and forth and the tower moments with the karmic, it is now impacting their health. And now you have the king of pentacles here in the reverse. The king of pentacles in the reverse is a man who could be a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo. But when I see the king of pentacles in the reverse, that's like a man that has like poor health. Because remember, earth is a, the body, right? So the king of pentacles reverse is someone who's having bad health, poor issues with their career and their finances. Maybe your masculine lost their job and now they lost their health insurance right now on top of dealing with all the chaos with the karmic now they don't have coverage right now they're starting to really see like whoa dealing with this toxic situation really impacted my health i need to be more mindful of my emotions and doing my spiritual work so i don't get put in situations like this right that's another that's what these masculines have to go through they have to realize like they were giving up something that they could not see staying in that karmic partnership they just thought well oh well i'll just get out of it later and it'll be okay like no when you got a time limit on something, a contract is probably like 10 months and you go three, four, five, six, seven years, something is going permanently. You see what I'm saying? In exchange for you staying in your comfort zone, you, you have to realize that you lose something staying stuck. You always do. Clarify spiritual partnership for the masculines, please. And we have here... Clarify the uh, uh, Princess of Pentacles. I feel like with the page, the Prince of Pe Princess of Pentacles, um, they want to send you a message, but they are feeling like they're in two minds about it. With the Two of Swords here, they're indecisive. They don't know what to do because they don't feel like you're going to accept their offering because they know it's not a King or Queen of Pentacles offering. It's a Princess or Prince of Pentacles offering. You see what I'm saying? But they do want to send you a message here, feminine, right, on the spiritual partnership card. They're just going, they're in two minds right now. Or this can potentially be that they're trying to get away from this karmic, but the karmic is also in denial. You know, they're very childish and immature, probably financially unstable, you know, and they're they're keeping the masculine, like, stuck in this rap, this game, because the karmic is in de de denial with the two of swords here in the verse, for thinking that they're the divine partners when that's not the case. That's another way that I'm reading that. Clarify self-discipline. You have the sun card here. Yeah, because I feel like these masculines now, queen of pentacles on the bottom of the on, uh, of the deck, which confirms what I was saying earlier, king of queen of pentacles energy. 
with the uh, self-discipline here and the sun card, what I feel like is like this masculine knows that this overindulgence and this bullshit that he got into, this addiction trap with the karmic, is his downfall and it's taking away his happiness. It drains his vitality and it makes him depressed. And he now knows that the only way that I'm going to get my happiness back, my vitality back, is practicing self-discipline. Clarify the sun with the death card. Yeah. Death to toxicity. Death to, you know foolishness and madness i also feel like with the self-discipline card here too the masculine could have gotten uh, exposed for some type of overindulgence some type of like a uh, sex addiction food addiction alcoholism drug thing uh over shopping some type of overconsumption or bad habit the masculine was exposed for it so now they're in, they're putting it in a place where they have to transform with the death card okay so that's what i have for the masculine energy check-in hmm huh. Let me get some planet cards on here. Let's get some astrology cards and see what the planets have to say for the masculines. Dear bright and well-loving ancestors, what messages do you have for the divine masculines, please? Especially as we move into Mercury retrograde. What messages do you have for the divine masculine, please? We have Saturn. What was I just fucking saying? I knew I needed to put this out. Oh, then at the top of the deck, we got Capricorn. Remember, we have that Pluto and Saturn and uh, both of those signs in Capricorn conjunction right now. Saturn's in Capricorn right now, too, but it's going to be moving. Like I said, these masculines are going to be getting karma, either good karma or bad karma. It's whatever you, it's based on basically the seeds that you planted. So if you planted negative seeds, you're going to be reaping negativity. If you planted good seeds, you're going to be reaping positivity. So there, that's you. Right, but with the this Capricorn energy too, it's remember Capricorn is the father of the zodiac, so this is definitely talking to the divine masculines because it's talking about this um, earth energy, but also to the ways in which the masculine has embodied the patriarchal toxic patriarchy, pa toxic patriarchy. Because remember, I said Capricorn is the father of the zodiac. It's it's what this is saying to me. It's like questioning the masculine, having the masculine question their alignment with patriarchy, the ways in which they've embodied misogyny and how they need to address that as Saturn continues to come. Because Saturn, this transit is going to be very special because this Saturn transit is going to be bringing justice to the ways in which the patriarchy has created imbalance and abused the feminine, right? Because in order for patriarchy to be so powerful and imbalanced, it had to create suppression and trauma for the feminine, which is its counterpart. So there's going to be a balancing and rectifying. So as it's happening on the macro my, uh, macro level higher up, it's happening on the micro level, as above, so below, rectifying. So for those feminines who, you know, you've been crying over your masculine and all the other stuff, just know that, oh, it's karma. Times 10. Messages for the divine masculine, please. And here we have the moon. And remember what I said about Piscean energy? And you hear, have the moon here again? And because I see Saturn and the moon, there's karma. Because remember, the moon represents the feminine womb cycle too. What was I just saying? The masculines are going to be getting a lot of karma. This Mercury retrograde is going to be very intense for them. Very intense. But it had to happen that way. Because they had to learn who they are and who they are not. Because a lot of these masculines, the way, the reason why they treat you the way they treat you feminine is because they don't respect themselves. So they can't respect you as their counterpart, right? They don't respect themselves. They're arrogant. They're hot-headed. They, I saw Mars at the bottom of the deck. They deal with karmics. They have addictions. They, they deal with women who pump their head up, you know? So why wouldn't they be, act like trash, Right? So that's what I have for the divine masculines, just a general energy check-in for them. Now, <clears throat> let's do a check-in for the masculines dealing with karmics. Still dealing with karmic chameleons. Karmic, 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 karmic chameleons. Whoa, whoa. Karmic, 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 karmic chameleons. I'm so messy. <laughs> I know my, my DM's masculine can't stand me because I be making hella songs about that bitch. She shallow with the pussy she. Uh -huh. Anyways, um, gotta be creative. So let's see. Ooh, let me back up. I put my thing down, flip it in reverse. I'm having back problems. All right, masculines. Let's see. Let's check up on the masculines dealing with the karmic. Dear Brian, well-loving ancestors, what can you tell us about the masculines dealing with the karmic? 
What messages do you have for the masculines dealing with the karmic? What's happening with the masculines and the karmic partner right now? What's happening with the masculines and the karmic partner right now? <laughs> Ooh. What's happening with the masculines and the karmic partner, please? <laughs> oh, I cannot. <laughs> <sighs> it's always something, right? What's happening with the masculine and the karmic partners right now? Oh, I cannot. What's happening with the masculine and the karmic partner right now? Oh, let's get them a um, romance angel oracle. All right. Dear bright and well-loving ancestors, what's happening with divine masculine and the karmic right now? What's happening with Divine Masculine and the Karmic right now? Let me shuffle again. Dear Bright and Well Loving Ancestors, show us what's happening with Divine the Divine Masculines dealing with Karmic Partners. Wow. Finances and career. Separation. Very soon. And then we have the uh, very soon. And then we have You Deserve Love. I mean, honestly, it's, it's always something, though. It's it's like um, I sent my masculine the song one time, and it was like my ex-masculine. Make up to break up, that's all we do. Yeah, first you love me, then you hate me. That's a game for a fool. That's what the masculine and the feminine and, and this karmic is up and down, up and down, up and down. But it's like I said, you can only go up and down, up and down until you break that bridge. You see what I'm saying? And then you're you're stuck on either end permanently. So let's see. Masculine's dealing with the karmic. Let's get um some chakra wisdom here. Dear bright and well loving ancestors, what messages do you have for the masculines dealing with the karmic? Masculines dealing with the karmic. What messages do you have for the divine masculine dealing with the karmic? We have release at the bottom of the deck. What messages do you have for the masculine dealing with the karmic? Oh, shit. All right. So, basically, um, from what I see here, it's the same shit. Lying to people to make it look like their relationship is about something when it's not. Um, anyways, so the chakra cards that we got here first is impatience. Then we got gossip. Then we got dissipating. So basically what I'm hearing, seeing here is like, because I also see the very soon in separation. I feel like this masculine is getting impatient being a part of this relationship. I feel like they don't really want to be a part of this, but they're there to either avoid gossip or because they have like a family with the family card being here. Okay. Um, but they know that this karmic is envious with the envy card. And they know that they are dimming themselves and they are lowering themselves to stay in this relationship with the don't dim to fit in card right here, right? This masculine is realizing that this karmic does not light them up. Nine of cups reverse. This is not a wish fulfillment for me. Ace of wands reverse, you know? And they are dissipating being in this relationship. It really is cut and dry, very simple, you know? It says very soon, clearly decide what you want so you so it comes to you now. The masculine is making plans to exit the relationship or if they are stuck in the jail now, they have to basically strategize on how they are going to deal with, you know, the reality of what they chose and what they got themselves stuck in. And then it says separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Yeah. So we have impatience. Clarify impatience for the divine masculine. Dealing with the karmic partner. <clears throat> then we have the five of cups in the reverse. So I feel like this masculine is no longer like... Five of cups in the reverse is also a divorce. Like, it's like total, like... It's... it's I'm done mourning. I'm done crying. Like, there's nothing left in me. So, and then with the impatience card being here, I feel like this masculine is like done like crying over spilt milk now they're like you know what i just i just want to get up out of here as fast as i can that's the energy that i'm feeling off fear <clears throat> then we have the gossip card clarify gossip we have the death card with the gossip out here now with the death card and the gossip out here i feel like what's what is going on is like this masculine is realizing like 
okay, either this karmic, she gossip, and all of a sudden, you notice how I started sneezing, sneezing? These karmics, they don't want me talking, exposing their business because they're losing their fucking grip. And like I said, anyone who's still dealing with the karmic, that's not a masculine, that's a narcissist. A real masculine would have been gone by now. Come on. And they will be transitioning out as we move forward, deeper into 2020. With the gossip and the death card here, I feel like what's happening is this mask, there's either someone could have passed away or it's the total end of the relationship. And now the karmic is out gossiping because she's envious and not getting what she wants. And they've gone through separation, etc. You know, and then with the share your voice here and the gossip card, I feel like this masculine is wanting to speak up about the abuse that he's experienced at the hands of this karmic. Because I feel like this karmic is going around gossiping because she's envious and jealous, causing problems. The sun card exposing all his business, right? And um, this masculine is like, fuck, you know. That's the reason why I'm staying here is because I'm trying to avoid her telling secrets and stuff like that. That's so crazy to me. If you have to keep somebody like that, it's like, like I said, but that's what's going to start happening. These karmics are going to start to see, whoa, like I shouldn't have done that because out of trying to keep someone against their will, what I got was nothing but toxicity, abuse, and uh, it's basically like a reenactment of their childhood, like their deepest fear, like daddy left or mommy left or neglected me. I didn't get that love. That masculine is recreating that for them now. That's the karma. What's the death card? With the king of wands being here in the reverse. I feel like also too, this karmic is um, gossiping about the masculine. So if your masculine was very narcissistic, they're getting judgment for that, of course. But the karmic is making rounds, going around gossiping, spreading lies about them, etc. But you know, the masculine, that's what you chose to deal with. You chose to deal with someone that you sat up and gossiped there with. So you, you should only know that they were going to flip the script on you too. It's only common sense. Clarify dissipating. And this dissipating is all in the, uh, it's a, a solar plexus chakra. This is all about losing your sense of self, losing your willpower, staying in complacency, dissipating with the tower in the reverse. This came out in the reverse. My apologies. This tower came out in the reverse. So what this is telling me is this masculine is trying to avoid a tower moment with this karmic by staying here because, oh, we have a family or a business or something like that, or because of money or whatnot. But in the process of that, he is dissipating, losing steam, losing his spirit, declining. Clarify the sun card. The sun card is clarified by the nine of swords. And the sun came out too, but we already have it out here. So this masculine is worried because this karmic has some type of dirt on him. That can be potentially very dangerous or explosive. But in that karmic trying to do that, and create that type of karma for the uh, masculine by keeping them trapped and stuck there. The ancestors are going to deal with her severely because basically she is entrapping another person. That's a form of magic, right? Nine of Swords is also like mirror boxes, curses, and spell work. You know, when I see Nine of Swords and certain cards come out, I know that there's certain spells. That's a type of spell too. So you see, well, clarify happy family. With the Five of Swords. <laughs> why would the Five of Swords clarify happy family? That's why when I saw that card, I just, <laughs> I laughed. Because the masculine is realizing, like, there ain't no happy, happy family here. This is my enemy. This is competition. This is mind games. This is a narcissist that I'm dealing with, that I had children with. What the fuck? And I also feel like this masculine is starting to realize that whoever, if they have a child with the karmic, they're starting to realize that this person is not of quality. They're starting to see, why did I have a child with this person? My, now my child is going to be half retarded because they they come from someone who's, you see? Now you get the envy card here too. Clarify the envy card for the divine masculines dealing with karmics. Then you have the magician. So what's the magician? I already know. I feel like the masculine is starting to realize if you told your masculine that the karmic was doing magic, et cetera, et cetera, now they are starting to see it. And now they start to see how jealous and envious the karmic was for doing that shit in the first place. Now they're starting to see it, but it had to take for you separating, removing them, being out in the cold, experiencing losses, getting sick, losing money, etc., for them to see it. Clarify the magician. Four of swords in the reverse. This masculine is nervous because he sees that this karmic is very envious. She's using magic. She's doing all these different things. She's really crazy. Four of swords in the reverse, mentally unstable. Lack of rest, lack of mental clarity. She's dysfunctional. 
now now they see it nine of swords five of swords four of swords could be an air sign masculine or a karmic that they're dealing with gemini libra and aquarius but they start they're set they're starting to see that this karmic is not mentally all there now they see it clarify don't dim to fit in you have the six of cups with the seven of wands in the reverse so the masculine wants to surrender Ego, pride, jealousy, competition, envy, and they want to reconcile with someone with the Six of Cups being here. But you see the Six of Cups in the middle is the Two of Cups here. Two of Cups is all about like a soulmate relationship, that type of thing. This masculine with the don't dim to fit in, how are you dimming your light in order to fit in? This masculine is starting to really see how they caused their own problems. They're starting to see how they created like chaos and havoc for themselves by being in competition and having ego, all of that stuff. Now, I also feel like this masculine was letting other people get in their head about you, etc. Feminine. Now they're starting to see like, wow, these people, I just wanted to fit in with them. That's why he, he, her hard with them and worked against you and talked about you, etc, etc. Now I see who these people actually are. None of them could compete with you. Clarify Starseed. And then I, I see Jupiter in this. Jupiter and uh, Neptune in this. So your masculine could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces. Clarify Starseed. What's like, what lights you up or has a lot of Pisces in the chart with the King of Cups here. Starseed will light you up with the King of Cups. When I see the King of Cups come out for like a, a reading, I feel like this is like the masculine saying like, I am in my watery emotional element. I'm, I'm, I'm emotionally um, mature right now. I feel like that's what the masculines are saying. But this King of Cups also lets me know like that they are really overflowing of, with love for the feminine. King of Pentacles, they want to be a provider. They want to be a husband. They want a commitment. King of Swords, they're cold. They're detached. King of Wands, they want to be a whole. King of Cups, that, that's like love, romance, connection, you know? So that's how the masculine wolf lights you up. You light him up because he's showing up as the king of cups here. The king of wands came out in the bottom in terms of him and the karmic, right? And the gossip and the drama. He, you light him up. You're the one that can put him in that water emotional element. Clarify the share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution, expression. I feel like this masculine is being silenced by the karmic and he's going to start speaking up soon about her abuse. Clarify, share your voice with the two of wands here. This masculine is making decisions. What's the two of wands about what path to take? Clarify the two of wands. Oh, clarify the two of wands with the six of swords. Yeah. Clarity about movement, movement forward away from a tumultuous or toxic situation. Hmm. Very interesting. Separation time apart from your partners on the horizon. Clarify the separation card with the nine of wands. Guarded, blocking something. I feel like this masculine with the separation card and the nine of wands, like this masculine, it, this is, it's repetitive. Something has like gone on time and time and time again. I feel like this masculine is tired. He, he's battle weary. He's like, I'm ready for this to be put down. Clarify finances and career with the 10 of cups here in the reverse. So I feel like this masculine is going through a divorce. I'm right now with this karmic and it's getting very expensive, very pricey. That's going to be one of the reasons why he's still trapped in jail because he's trying to figure out how can I get out of this without giving this bitch any type of money. You see what I'm saying? So there's that. Clarify very soon for this masculine. Very soon. And then we have the queen of swords clarifying very soon. So this queen of swords can mean two things. Because I see all this air right here, the queen of swords can be the karmic. She's in that mode right now so with the very soon in the queen of swords it's like he's ready to cut her off and move away from that situation and just go so he's like very soon i will get away from this bitchy lady or very soon he will come and be in union with you because you're probably in the queen of swords energy right now feminine and you're like i'm not i'm not playing with you off with your motherfucking head if you play with me i feel like that looks like me when i leave my hair down <laughs> clarify the uh very soon in queen of swords with the temperance card yeah yeah because they want to heal this relationship. They want to put something toxic and karmic to an end with the Ten of Swords here. They want to go back into union with you, feminine, right? Two of Cups here. And then they want to bring you justice, right? But they're in a situation right now where they're dealing with some karmic energies and situations that they need to get themselves out of. That they would have never really been in so deeply had they listened to you in the first place, which is usually the problem. Or because they didn't listen to their spirit guides or their higher self or they decided to stay trapped in addictions or delusional thinking or their own mental illness. Now they're dealing with... Karma and karmics. So that's what I have here. I want to do a check-in and see um, how the karmic is feeling about the masculine. I should have separated this into two videos. But you know what? 
I'm just gonna do like a just, actually, you know, I'm gonna do a whole different video about that karmic check-in, okay? So that has been your reading, Masculines. I hope you enjoyed. If you need a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. Once again, my name is Daisy, aka Professional High Priestess, and I hope you enjoy the reading. Thank you. Bye.